705. My name is Brittany Teacher. Today is Wednesday, March 4th, and we are going to do our picture writing lesson. So let's do picture writing today, page 10. Open your books and let's look at the picture together. Before we begin writing, it's important to study the picture and think to ourselves, what do we see? The first thing we should always pay attention to are the people. We should always think about the people in the picture first. So, who is the person in this picture? Is it a boy or a girl? What is she wearing? What is she doing? Okay, after we notice everything about the person, next we can notice the overall situation, okay, the entire picture. What are the colors that we see? Is anyone else in the picture with her? That's right, there's a dog with her. How does she look, happy or sad? I think she looks happy. And what is she doing? She's putting a love note to her mom in the boots, right? A little funny. Okay, so now that we've noticed everything about the picture, let's read some questions. These questions are here to help us uh, write the sentences, but we should not do everything that the questions say. We should just use these as a guide, okay? Not to copy, just a guide. This just gives us some ideas. Remember, when we write a paragraph, we need to write five sentences. I'm going to give you some ideas about what you can write, but I want you to try and come up with your own ideas too. Let's look together. What do you see? What colors are there? Where is the dog? Where is the girl? What is she wearing? What is she doing? What else? Write anything about this picture. Okay, so I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin the same way every time. I always want you to talk about the person first because the person is always the most important part of any picture. Okay? So first we should describe the person in the story. We already said she is a girl. So we can say, there is a girl. In this picture. Now, you can write it differently. You can say, I see a girl in this picture, or there is a young girl in this picture. You can add more information if you want to, but I'm going to start with the sentence, there is a girl in this picture. Let's, uh, uh, let's continue by talking about where she is, okay? Where do you think this girl is? Is she at school? Is she outside? I think she's at her house. I can tell that because she has a dog with her and she's at a front door and it looks like she is on the welcome mat outside her home. So I'm going to say she is at her house. we can take this time to talk about what she looks like or what else we see in this picture with her. She has a dog with her in the picture. So what should we write about what she looks like or the other, the dog in the picture? We can say she is wearing blue pants 
hands. And a yellow shirt. She has a dog too, so maybe we should say that she has a dog, but we don't want to just say dog because we can always give more information. What does this dog look like? What are the colors of the dog? That's right, she has a black and white dog. And last, what is she doing? She's putting a note in her mother's boots. How do we know it's her mother's boots? Because look at the picture. It says, Mom. She is putting... A note in her mother's boots. Okay, I'm going to move this a little closer so that you can see what I wrote. Okay. If your sentences are a little different from mine, that's okay. As long as you tell me all of the right information. If you tell me who is in the photo, what she looks like, what she is doing, that's okay. Remember that you need to include five sentences at least and write very neatly. All right. Our picture writing lesson is finished for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.